the raising the alcohol was a thing. Raising the champagne was a thing. Um, but we're talking about small money. Yeah. Like, how much can you really sell a bottle of Moe for? Mm. Especially when boss man knows how you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the top up cards, like, because inside the box, there'll be like a grand, two grand worth of top up. Yeah. So if you shot that for a grand, you're up. Wow. See? You're up. And, Kick your um, game here. Yeah. yeah, we went, we went, we went with that. Um, DT led into that. I think for a lot of man, it led into that. Uh, I think for people like Lame, Lame was still rest in peace, rest Lame. In peace, lame. Uh, Rame, lame was still literally repping the crew, and a few man was actually still repping the crew, but a lot of us were just on crime. So now we're robbing whips. Um, wow! And then that was coming like certain man would go back into jail for that shit, um, and then we started sending drugs, bro. Um, and that situation got a bit hairy for me. Uh, at first, I was doing very well, and then I was starting to fuck up, and then people were starting. People starting to fuck me up, and then um, I just had to leave the country. Really? Yeah. So it got that peak. It got that peak for me. Really? Yeah, yeah. What was it? Australia's a long way away. Yeah. That's how peak it was. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Keller. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Okay, here we go. Class of session. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct. Central London, or as central as you need to be. Choose to be, want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, baby. Come on. Our sponsors, the mighty GK Nifty Heads, have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hoddle Wars Summer 2024. Inside the house. He was a poet and I didn't even know it. You won't believe the stories we're about to ensue with this guy. We're talking from the late 90s into the noughties with a hiatus and then back in, in a whole different genre, then coming straight through, back in effect. He goes by the name of Poet. What are we saying, my well, brother? <laughs> Jeez! Yo, even off the bat, you just threw some fucking, you threw me some science right there that I was just like, yeah. yeah. I got schooled off the bat. How are you, my brother? It's all good. It's all good. Same old shit, man. Yeah? Fucking representing out here doing my thing. South in the house. South in the house. You know the thing. How long have you been over there? How long have you been south? Uh, oh, I've been back and forth. Like, my mum's west, my dad's south. Hmm. So I was always bouncing between the two. Ah, oh, yeah. See, that's what happens, isn't it? Yeah. But you got the best of both. South is where it's. I do shaking. have the best of both. I've got a family on that side mm. and I've got a family on this side. It makes it beautiful. Did you grow up in West then? I grew up in West. Equally, I grew up in, in South as well. I think it all started in South. I think by the time I was like six, my parents split up. She went West, tried to get as further as way, uh, away as my dad as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was there. And then uh, I think by the time I was 13, I'm like, Mum. She was trying to hold me back from a lot of shit, and I'm like, Mom, I'm going to my dad's. That's interesting. Yeah. Did you see? Because a lot of kids kind of they they <laughs> lean they lean towards um, parents in a particular way of you know of of trust and knowing and and mm. such. But you were like, oh, you know what? I, I've got other ideas. Pops was very relaxed. Really, pops was very relaxed with the smoking, with the drinking, underage drinking, um, going out, meeting friends. He 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 just wanted to meet a few people, and once he met a few people, he was very cool. Really? Well, he double was, double check and make sure. Double that check him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he can chill. Really? Yeah. Did that? Did that perpetuate anything off the? You know, off the bat, as a younger person, like being, uh, uh, you know, having the open opportunity to drink and smoke. Nah, nah, um, nah. Because like when it came to like certain things, I would always like ask my dad, and my dad would be cool. He would literally give me like top advice really so yeah no nah, it, it it was good not a lot of people have that openness in their families do nah they? but like a few people i do and a few people a few people i know do and a few people i know don't um and i tell you something the people like my friend uh big up kane um his mom used to buy him weed <laughs> his mom used to buy him weed when we were like 13 because she didn't want him buying weed off the block so 
his mum would buy him weed and it was very all controlled and she would buy him like bush weed. She'll never buy him chronic. Um, she controlled how much he would smoke. Wow. And now, to this day, Kane don't smoke anymore. Really? Nah, because it was never really like that with him. If he wanted Bud, he could get Bud at any time. Wow. Do you think that that's, uh, that's the real way to do it, surely? I think so. Or is it horses of courses depending on the person? It depends on the person, I think. Yeah. Now you said that, I think it depends on the person. Mm. And the trust that you have with that person. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Because environment also plays a big part in it as well. Yep. Yep. I remember one time when I tried to stop smoking... That was a disaster. I think everyone around me was blazing and literally blowing smoke in my face. <laughs> really? It is what Charming. It is. You know what? It's the same when you go to the pub and all you want to do is stop drinking. Yeah. I'll tell you an anecdote, right? An antidote. Um, I, I, I stopped drinking for ages and I had this like uh, blue Heineken's, you know, these yeah. ones that you Yeah, know, yeah, you non-alcoholic. Yeah, you suddenly feel better about yourself within the foot, but the by the time it gets to the third one, you're like, you've had enough. So I... <laughs> I heard this, and then my mate turned around to me. He goes, "Here, let me just get you a beer. You've had you've had six of them already. Why yeah. don't you just have a normal set?" I was like, "Go on, and all right then." So, but what happens is it mixes with mm-hmm. the non, mm-hmm. so you get three, four, six times more drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got absolutely mashed up. My boy turned around to me and said, "They mess up. With the, they play with your stomach." Yeah, they mess with your stomach. Like I think, shout out to Trap uh, Pain. Mm. Yeah, uh, old tight crew. Come on. Uh, he, he was like, "Man, I don't. I, I stopped drinking, but the non-alcoholic beers like play with my belly." Yeah, they do. They do. I've never really touched one, to be fair. Yeah, you know what? On that note. Yeah, on that note. <laughs> on that note cheers. <laughs> anyway, look, we're, getting, we, we, we're going deep. Uh, without question, uh, a, 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 a stalwart in Stockwell, um, a, a reputable name, somebody yeah, yeah. that has done the graft, early doors. You took a hiatus, didn't you? Yeah, 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 for a while. Yeah, talk to me about that. So we'd, let's go back Let's go back to 1996, 97 era. Yep. Yeah, perhaps when it started. you were prolific. Yeah. Um, Graf was always uh, uh, a rebellious thing for man. Um, my sister was, I had an older sister. Mm. She went to school with a lot of graphers. Uh, big up Sheen. Uh, big up a lot, of, a lot of the old mandem that went to Sheen. A lot of DDS, a lot of MTS, a few SB. Um, FLS, they're all up in there. Richmond College as well. Um, but my sister would be like, yeah, 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 pies, da 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 da. Yeah, 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 me rock, da 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 da. And then like I would see these people, I would see like, not so me rock was in, in Sheen, but like she would just mention a lot of people that she went to school with and then I would see them on the roads like tags and that and I'll be like, yeah, they're my sister's mates. So I sort of felt like I knew these people yeah, 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 from yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I've always wanted to like, I don't know, be the cool little kid that like wanted like, I don't know, appreciation from my sister, recognition from my sister. So I just wanted to jump into it as soon as possible. Really? Yeah. So how old would that have been? And that was like 13, 12. Wow, so you went straight into it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, who were the, so were these people that you were influenced by? Was there other people in the area at the time? Um, through meeting people, I think the biggest person, um, well, there's one person who introduced me to everyone. I think the person who introduced me to him was, uh, Smack, Hold Tight Nathan. Mm. Um, but, um, Smack introduced me to Blink. Blink introduced me to everyone. Mm. Blink introduced me to the fucking culture, bro. Wow. Wow. Like the plots, uh, the peoples, the places to hang out. Mm. Um, it's funny how the, the, that, he that, that one person... Me, he introduced <laughs> me to everything. He opened my mind up to everything. Mm. Blink is the top boy. Shout out Blink. Yeah, whole time. Um, Blink, yes. Even like, do you remember like... Do you remember like there was always a phone on the platform? <laughs> on trains, on the overground uh, trains, and then like you would like type in a code and you can call it, you can use... Do you remember that? Like a yellow box thing. The yellow it? box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit like that to like... Plots to get fibbins, to like plots to get like some high coats, paint, um, introducing me to like just mad different people, bro. That's crazy. And, and through that, like it was, yeah, it was me, Blink and Reese most of the time. Me, Blink and Reese, um, these are SB days. Yeah, yeah, big up Reese. This yeah. is SB days. Me, Blink, Reese, uh, me, Blink, Nevs. Me, Nevs, and Devs. Big up Nevs. Big up Devs. Big up, big up, where big are up. these guys? Yeah, bro? where are they? Where are these guys? Big up the Pimlico man, Devs. Yeah. Uh, big up Nevs' sister. Jeez. Um, wow. Literally, as a 13 year old kid, I used to literally just knock on the door and be like, Can I come in and blaze a zoo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, See, yeah, we're talking yeah, about heritage here, some South, South heritage. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a madness. 
Um, yeah, and through, like he introduced me to everything. Really? Yeah. What was it like on the first intro? Like this must have been. It must have been a slow burn of it was. intro, reintro. Then it was. You know, up levels and do I, I, sorts of I things. Would, there was a lot of time I would meet like these big graphists, and I would just stand there and not say a word. Really? Just overwhelmed. Really? Um, wow. Uh, and then, like, when I got out of my show with certain man, especially like with Reese, Reese no, Reese has known me the longest. No, 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 no. S- Blink has known me the longest, but Reese has, has known me for a minute. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've I've always been like that with Reese. Like, Reese is Reese a bad man. That, like yeah. that, that, that that's one of the realest, right? Yeah, there. big up Reese. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always feel like whenever Reese is with, you know, Reese yeah. represents. Yeah. And it, birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. Exactly that, and and like I was the younger, mm. so they looked after me. That's crazy. Yeah. How old are you now? Thirty nine. You know, For, forty this year. It, congratulations, we made it. I'm in the club scene. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, I'm not too far away behind you, <laughs> in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, brother, uh, you know when you've got uh, holders like that, so far as flames and championing you, and did the pressure was the pressure there real? You know, so far as stylistically, hand styles, etc. Was that was it a lot? Nah, man, I was always the laughing stock. They, it was cool. They, really? It, it was cool. Like, I was the one that would, like, get the fucking stainer and have it all over my shit, you know? Like, <laughs> you know, I was, I was, Sock I was a running. proper rookie. I really? was a proper rookie yeah, to yeah. the thing. I was mm. proper green to the thing. So, like, I, I, after a while when they laughing at me and then, you know, like, oh, this is how you do it. Fucking hell, poets. It was cool. Really? It was cool. They were my brothers. Mm. They were all my oldest. What's the craziest, what's the craziest missions of that period? Because, you know, we're talking about a, a kind of a, a reasonably brief but intense Canada, spell. There was it? a lot. Come on, let's get into it. There was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot of fucking missions. Um, what, with, with, with Blink? Yeah. Fucking, Blink would take me to places like fucking Rain's Coat, uh... Stain, Slough. Hmm. He, his ends is out. He lived out of ends. So you take me to places like Witten. So he had the plots down. He had the plots. He had the plots. Uh, so many fucking plots. Bro. Really? Yeah, I think we even made it up to Essex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, culture's going, the way almost. Yep, yep. We were even going up there, fucking robbing up fucking uh, Halfords. Really? Uh, B&Qs, uh, Woolworths. Uh... Yeah, that was the time. Them, 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 them plots. Them, them eras. Them eras. Yeah. When you say Woolworths, it's like yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could be under twenty one for this. Is like this yeah. is like eighteen plus shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, mad different missions. Mad different missions. I think actually, nah, there is one that sticks out in my mind. I think we were. I think we were at some fucking train station. We ended up sleeping at the train station. We were just doing all nighters. Hmm. We were just doing all nighters. It was all good. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I see. You paused on that one there for a second. No, because got... like I don't know what to say. Like, really? Was I... it? Is it? Was it? Was it on top? Did it get crazy? It got crazy at times, and um, yeah. Really interesting. See, you see that to protect the uh, the involved. You see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There was a reason why you did leave. You left to Australia, correct? Yeah, but that was when everything got mad. That was like, that's like now we're skipping uh, into like early noughties. Mm. And um, yeah, everything was getting a bit crazy. Like, the... was that graph associated? Nah, nah, other nah, stuff. nah, nah. It got deeper than graph after yeah. a while. It got deeper than graph. Like, I think the uh, the DT period, um, end of the CB period, mm. big up lust. Mm-hmm. Um, coming into the DT period, big mm. up snares, big up heat, big up track, big yeah. up boss. Yeah. Um, then pioneers. Yeah. Um, it it got deeper than graph. Like, we weren't really graphing no more. I think. O two, O three. I don't really remember carrying a pen with me anywhere. Really, it was literally just about making money. Really, yeah. Yeah, facts. So it got it got serious in that respect. Yeah, it got it got a bit ridiculous. Really. Yeah. The teething got too much. Really. Yeah. Ah, so it was okay. So it just so it we got from like teething paint, teething mm. pens, teething ink, to like teething cars, uh, teething electricals, just to shot them on. Teething champagne, oh, big yeah. up track. <laughs> the bubbly bandits, he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that was a thing that actually, actually ended up in the paper. Really? Um, front page. <laughs> let's, talk about the D- let's talk about the DT era because, uh, you know, I've got okay. affliction for those guys. Yeah, the for DT sure. era came off the back of the CB era. The CB era um, was like 99. Um, 
I remember meeting Lust for the first time with Me Rock. Mm. Um, I think that was in Lost Is Yard. Uh, she was showing us how to brew raise. Mm. I think a few of us already knew, but um, yeah, we ended up leaving her yard and we didn't even make it halfway up the high street without before getting nicked. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that was around about that era. Um, CB, Have, Big Up Have, mm -hmm. Big Up Trap, the original Trap, no disrespect. Big Up um, Hints, mm -hmm. Little, Little Laurie. Mm -hmm. Little Laurie was burning the fucking these are, city. These are names, man. Yeah. These are they, and also unsung on the podcast. It's fantastic you're bringing these up. Yep, yep, definitely big up hints because he was up mm. when when it was a thing to be up. It's still a thing to be up, but he was super up. And then yeah, we we had this 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 wolf wolf pack gang uh, who we we just literally rolled everywhere with each other. And we didn't take no shit. I think for a lot of people that are outside looking in, and bear in mind, we're talking like pre-internet, pre-social media, 100. interconnectivity. Yeah. I think for the, for the unknowing, it's the idea that everybody in a way, not necessarily got on, but everyone knew everyone. And the, you're talking about, you know, I mean, me rock, Sounds instrumental to a lot of yeah. um, of connections, it, and and Rees being another one. Yeah. Um, On that note, big up spat. Yeah, whole time. Hand in hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. No That's one would have right Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, sensei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real. I think a lot of people would be like, oh, "Fuck! How does how do they know each other? How does that how does that work? Like because there was no internet, nothing back in the day. Blink, bro." Seriously, mm -hmm. Blink. I think one day Blink was like, oh, uh, there's some guy I want you to meet. He fucking loves hip hop. He loves hip hop. He's just like you. He's just like you. He's just a little bit older than you. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah, bring him around. And I think one time we were at Witten Station. Blink went to Blink was on crud. He went to go and re-up. And I think he just left us at Witten Station, me and this guy I've never met before. And we just fucking kicked it off. Bro. Really? Yeah, mentioned one, two rappers. Then we're to, then we're both rapping with each other. Who was he that? Raps. Who that was Reese. That was Reese. That was Reese yeah. did that. So yeah, listen. He's an he is an, a multifaceted artist. One hundred. He's an OG. He's another sensei. Yeah. One hundred. He just produces. He does everything. He produces. He Manufactures paints. Manufactures clothing. You know. He raps. He's a designer. Yeah. No, no, no. Very talented guy. Do you think that's important? Well, I believe it is. But if you're really going to settle with one area of hip hop, that's a real tall ass. Because you, if you're into hip hop, you inherently do everything, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I don't do is break dance, bro. No, me neither. Yeah. But all the other <laughs> elements, yeah. 100, I'm in there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I find that hard to believe that people can't transfer disciplines. Yeah, it's a, it's a mad one because, um, like, for me, when you generally love something, you'd sort of explore all the elements of it. Yeah. I did try break dance. I'm just not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> so like I left that one, one alone. One time, you only need to do <laughs> left, it one time. I left bro. that one alone. <laughs> but like everything else, when there's like a, a, a genuine interest, yeah. there is a genuine obsession. Yeah, yeah, and one that kind of captures you straight away because you're just taking basically taking the the, the parameters of one um, discipline mm. and just repurposing it in another yeah. in another Funnily aspect. It. Yeah, 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 exactly that. Exactly that. Which then kind of leads me into this next chapter of your story, because this is fucking bonkers. Blew my mind when you told me. Yeah. So, okay, so Australia happened. We'll get back into that. Yeah. But this MC thing yeah, yeah, yeah. got really real for you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, the, tell them the story. Okay. Tell I'm, them the I'm story. In, I'm in Pimlico now. Um, big up Kane again. I'm in Pimlico. And do you remember fucking Dark and Cold? Of course I do. Do you remember the to? fucking tapes they used to flip in? Yes. So we were on the tapes, bro. We would have serious weed sessions and 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 like turn up, turn to get the microphone, plug it into the speaker, and then watch this thing, and then start rapping, get inspired, and then start rapping, bro. Like it was deep. Oh yeah, um, you used to film it as well, didn't they? We used to film it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they used to film it. We used to film it. We would literally want to send them up some some footage, <laughs> but we never got round to sending them footage because um, we didn't really believe in ourselves. But everyone would always to be like, with me, you can rap, bro. You can rap. You got bars. I dedicated a little bit to this because um, I generally liked the form of writing. Mm. I generally liked it. I generally liked like, sitting on the table by myself, beer, spliff, 
A4 piece of paper, biro, uh, um, instrumentals. God, that sounds good. Even thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's... and just and just flow, like, slowly just falling into an element and of, of zen and, mm. and and just writing. Mm. Um, I had a knack for it. Um, so Pimlico walking past the laundrette. We had already seen <laughs> MCD on these on these videos. Uh, we already heard his beats. We already heard him spit. Um, for some strange reason, I looked deep into the laundrette and my guy was there washing his clothes. I told my boy, what? my boy pressured me into going in there and, and spit some bars for him. I, I didn't want to do it. I was super shy. Um, but then, like, he said something to me. I think, like, come on, bro, this is... How else are we going to get out of this shit? Oh. So I was like, mm. right, okay, for real. Um, I went up in there and then I spat them bars and then he was like, come and check me in my studio tomorrow. MCD, you know. <laughs> Darren, MCD. big shout out to you. <laughs> OG general. Proper OG general. Um, UK, UK fucking, uh, old school UK hip hop listeners would know. Yeah. They would know. If you're new school and you don't know the name, okay, fair enough. No, no, but just, old just school guys, get, on the, get on the Google. This this guy is a legend. This is a guy's and, a legend and and, and under, under, unsung. Yeah, and I had the space. I had the blessing to be literally be his understudy, bro. Literally That's incredible. So Showing Silence Eclipse was Silent Eclipse, Rough Child Affiliation. That's what we're doing. It's too much. That's like, what we're doing. Goosebumps shit. That's incredible. Yeah. Transferring skills. Yep. Yeah, I want to big up MC No Way. I want to big up Fallacy. I want to big up yeah. Rodney P. I want to yeah. big up Chester P. Yeah. I want to big up Skinny Man, most yeah. most of the Task Force Farmer, even you, my guy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, flipping. That was that. My Mongo. Biggest, biggest regret with that is that like I took a lot of knockbacks and, and and I actually took it like, you know, when you take a knockback and you're like, oh, maybe they're right. Mm. Nah, I wasn't. I should have believed a bit more in myself and kept at it. How do you mean? What? Uh, what specifically? What, or like just um, tracks wise? Tracks wise, mm -hmm. mixtape wise. Keep writing. Keep going in the studio. Just don't say. Don't take no for an answer. Just keep going. I think there's a lesson to be learned in all of that. Yeah. Um, perhaps. I mean, you mentioned a, a sense of shyness when he was at the laundrette and he was in there. Yeah. Maybe that's something that that's always been inherent in your creative journey. Yeah. And definitely. Uh, definitely. I mean, I open up when I when I when I meet people, but like I mean, I'm definitely a shy guy. Yeah, I find that hard believe to believe. That. Man gets girls as well. He got girls around his areas. Yeah, it's just rumors, bro. It's <laughs> just rumors. <laughs> um, so so uh, let's cycle back a minute. Uh, Australia. So so yeah. you were over there for how long? I did eighteen months in Australia. I did like a, I went I went uh, Australia for the first three months, hmm. and then when I went to New Zealand for six months, oh, and I went back Zealand, over man. there for twelve months. <sighs> You were so yeah, yeah. What, what was the purpose? Just I had a bit of a madness, bro. Like um, <laughs> end of the CB era, we went into the DT era. The DT era was fucking trouble. We, it was like super trouble. We were on making money, and uh, do you remember top up razors? <laughs> yeah, yep. top on. up razors. I want to pick up my guy uh, Winks. Because Winx was an OG. Winx would do that shit alone. Explain the top up just for, just for, for the, those that are not... not okay, back in the day when you used to charge up your phone, they would give you a top up card. And you used to scratch it off and there'll be numbers. You'd type in a number and then you type in the card number and then you topped up your phone. Someone realised in, in these corner shops, they're not really, you know, securing the, the box. The mm. box is literally just underneath the till. So we used to fly the till, take the box, and then go to a next corner shop, and then shot the fucking box half price. Wow. There you go. Them things there gave me life, bro. Really? Yeah. Well, was, you were just I was super making broke. money. I was super broke. When someone put me onto that, I mean, the raising the alcohol was a thing. Raising the champagne was a thing. Um, but we're talking about small money. Yeah. Like, how much can you really sell a bottle of Moe for? Mm. Especially when boss man knows how you got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but the top-up cards, like, because inside the box, there'll be like a grand, two grand worth of top-up. Yeah. So if you shot that for a grand, you're up. Wow, see? You're up. And, Kick your um, game here. Yeah, we went, we went, we went with that. Um, DT led into that. I think for a lot of man, it led into that. Uh, I think for people like Lane, Lane was still rest in peace, rest in peace Lane. Lane. Uh, Rain, Lane was still literally repping the crew, and a few man was actually still repping the crew, but a lot of us were just on crime. And I'm not talking about criminal damage; we're talking about like just making money. Mm. Um, 
Yeah. So uh, that the DT thing led into what was your original question? I forgot, bro. Nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> led into Australia and led into you having to make a, so, a swift exit. Um, after the flipping top up, uh, top up razors and robbing uh, paint and, and alcohol, we we were robbing cars. Um, want to big up point? Want to big up focus? Them man came out of jail with new tricks. Mm. They will put us onto the new thing. Um, <laughs> so now we're robbing whips. Um, wow! And then that was coming. Like certain man would come back into jail for that shit. Um, and then we started selling drugs, bro. Um, and that situation got a bit hairy for me. Uh, at first, I was doing very well, and then I was starting to fuck up, and then people were starting, st- people starting to fuck me up, and then um, I just had to leave the country. Really? Yeah. So it got that peak. It got that to... peak for me. Really? Yeah, yeah. What was it? Australia's a long way away. Yeah. That's how peak it was. Really? You yeah. I just really need get to get out there. I need to fucking. I need to leave London. And you needed to be in the outback. I need. I flip in, I turn up on my dad's doorstep. I had literally like two black eyes. Um, I had a madness literally an hour before. And my dad was like, what the fuck? I said, listen, I got money. I told my dad everything. My dad already knew. My dad already knew. He, he sneaked in my apartment. He had a spare key. And I think he saw uh, baby numbing powder packets everywhere. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, and then my dad knew. So he didn't, re- he didn't bring it to me. He was waiting for me to come to him. At that stage, I came to him. I'm fucked up. You can see, look at my face and be like, fucking hell. He wants to get on the blower and call up his boys. I'm like, dad, nah, 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 nah. I just need to get out of London. Just for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it died down. It died down. No it, repercussions. It, no repercussions. No repercussions. What did you do in Australia? That you who gave me them two black eyes, we ended up squashing it. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did that in turn squash everything else? Yeah. Yeah, it's just jealousy, bro. Yeah, a hundred percent. Just one of those things. A hundred percent. Really. Hmm. Hmm. Um. So, what did you do in Australia in that whole period? I mean, that's a, that's a that's a. I was a going good to like open mic sessions in Melbourne, fucking rapping. I was in surfers, fucking trying to learn how to surf. Byron Bay, blazing it up. I'll type Byron uh, Bay. Whole type Byron Bay, lovely place. Yeah, it's great. Um. Just fucking touring, bro. And, Eating and, and ice cream and... Touring, being in the sun, mad barbecues. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you're into... Look, I, I, it isn't. I love Australia, right? No no bones about it. It's like, it's one of the most desirable places you could ever go to. Mm. But these guys, you've got to be into sports over there, bro. Like, yeah. if you ain't into sports, yeah, yeah, yeah. that kind of cuts half of your lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're very into <laughs> like... What's it like? Australian Aussie rules uh, rugby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, different thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Don't know. I don't know, but don't the, know, them men are on it. Yeah, yeah. They're on it. They like that, and they like their cricket. They, yeah, they do love their cricket, don't they? Crazy. Like crazy. Cricket's probably the most boring sport. I know. Shoot me off. <laughs> I'm gonna upset a lot of man and golf. This is where you're about to knock out. This is where you're about to knock out half of our um, Pacific audience <laughs> and a lot of your friends group. <laughs> Drop me out this week. Yeah. <laughs> and then WhatsApp groups shutting off. <laughs> Big up Avia, by the way, who's uh, who's out there. Um, yo, uh, real talk. It takes a lot of guts to literally change your life yep. in a whole new place, bro. Yep. Yep. No, it, things just got like... Um, the graph career was pretty short-lived. Uh, 97 um, to 03... Then we went into other things. We were still repping the cruise, but mm. we went into other things. I don't remember like doing so many track walks after that, after 03. It proper died down. It, it became about making money. If you remember that era, Jay Z was on top and he was mm. all talking about making money. Like, yeah. we needed to make money. We were all broke. Yeah. Eminem, lose yourself shit. It's yeah. like all or nothing. Yeah. It's it, that mentality. 50 Cent came a bit later. Like, yeah. we, need to get, we need to get out there, bro. We need to get peas. We need to get we money. We need to get some peas. We need to hit the club. We need to meet some yeah. girls. That became the soundtrack to all the behavior. Exactly. So, you come back into, uh, into the UK and uh, MCD, all of uh, Silent Eclipse, the whole, yep. the whole force behind that. Yep. Did you just slot right in and Graph became. Brother. When I was overseas, I was writing. I was like in Zen. I was like, like, do it by beaches. Like, I'm a city boy. This was pretty new to me. Um, so I was getting inspired everywhere. 
everywhere. Sydney, I was getting inspired. Fucking going all the way up to like Rockhampton, I was getting inspired. Going all the way up to like Rainbow Beach, uh, um, Noosa, uh, people who know, know, I was getting inspired. It's just, it's a beautiful country. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful country, country. And, they, and, they, and they like to fuck around, the Aussies. So. Yeah. They're a lot of fun, aren't they? Especially the women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's the best, the best. Yeah. Without good question. Good tours. Good, right? good tours. Good tours. So when I came back, I, my, my, my rhyme book was filled with fucking rhymes. So I, didn't, I needed to get into the studio. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm messing around with um, MCD again, No Way, Drastic, um, them names Dirk. Um, uh, Mike Assassin, mm. uh, Kaiser, mm. um, Kaiser Smirnoff. Never, Kaiser Smirnoff never really um, did anything with uh, uh, um, sorry, I forgot my Clash, K Lash. Mm. But we met the other day for the first time. That was lit. Nice. That was lit. Reach yeah. introduced us. Yeah. Um, in Wolverham store. Oh, I know exactly in spot, what it was. In that spot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. My guy was in the fucking room. My guy was in the room. We're painting Reach's front room. And my speaker's fucking on, on, on uh, shuffle. Yeah. K-Lash song came on. Yeah. And they were like, cool, K-Lash, tell him to come back. His song just turned on. And I'm like, what are you man talking about? Yeah. And they explained. I'm with another guy. He found out. He really? found out asking for pictures and shit. I'm just like, oh, I'll oh, so do well that. Who's doing a music video there, wasn't it? That was before. Uh, okay. That was before. That day they were just having a barbecue. <sighs> Got you. Big up Mecca. Mecca. Yeah, yeah. Spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big up Mecca. Yeah, 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 yeah. All day. Uh, wow. Do you ever think like, shit, like, my life's a bit, it's a, it's a bit mad. Like, it seems to me synergy attracts and you just, even by the way we connected. And you mentioned that, even the other day, you were just like, you know, I've been talking to everybody. Like, it just seems to be like you're interconnected and things just happen. That was a mad one. The day... You, you sent me the message, or Fabe sent me the message. Yeah, big up early, Fabe. Early, early, big up Fabe, big up, big up Fabe. CBM, yeah, big up Rams. Good. Yeah, come big on. Up, big up them guys. Um, that day, I think Spat got locked out of his house. Woke me up, stupid o'clock, are you working today? I'm like, no, nah, I'm not working. He's like, bro, I'm locked out of my house. I'm like, fucking hell, bro. <laughs> it's like 10 a.m. It's like, mate, it's raining. I need somewhere to be. Mm. Uh, and uh, he ended up knocking on my door. I let him in. Jumped in the shower, came back out. I think we had a cup of tea and I mentioned you. Hmm. Later on that day, Fabe texted me. That was random. Yo, that is random. That was random. I love shit like that. That was random. <laughs> it's like the energy, I don't know. I love that shit. Yeah. That's, it's just a course and a path that you know you're doing right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Random. I love that shit. Uh, and the fact that we hadn't met sooner, actually... Now we we had it. met before. We met before in Chips' shop. That was it. But you were, I remember. I was passing in and you yeah. were coming out. I remember and that very well. you were with like some American Donny. Um, who was I with? I felt yeah, like, I was. Who was it? Who I felt was like with? the guy was a legend. I don't know. Yeah. Well, only real legend, see. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I remember meeting you, though. Yeah. yeah I yeah, do yeah, remember yeah, it very yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I must well. have said, don't tell me he's after an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Only like three hours to the, to the minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, brother, you're, like, we can't go any further without talking about your paint and, uh, and your style and your process because um, uh, I've, I've been forewarned that you're, you're, you're one of the most methodical pieces, to, say, to coin it. Bro, that's crazy. I don't even see myself like that. There's so many forefathers that like burn me, bro. Um, yeah, that's cool. I, I I really do like my Insta name. I'm in I'm in South Bank, and some youth came up to me in a skateboard and was like, "Oh, you're poets." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Who are you? <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, I just I'm just a skater, blah blah blah. Can you can you sign my board?" So I signed the board, and he was all like, "You know, we call you the King of the Fields." You want me? I'm liking that. I think I might take that. King of the fields. King of the fields. Yeah, I rate that. I, I like that. So that I ended up taking that. But that shocked me. I think I turned around to uh, Hold Tight Blob, Hold Tight Yonder. I, I was thinking Yo. the day after I met Blob and Yonder, mm. Hold Tight Learn, Hold Tight uh, Fraud, Hold Tight my come OSA on. brothers. OSA, um, come on. Yeah, I was with Yonder the next day and I'm just like, 
you know, they're calling me this, like they're calling me the king of the fields, these kids. And I'm like, and he was like, yeah, you've earned that. So, you, yeah, it's a good name. You should change your instant name. I fucking love that. Yeah. It shocks me when people fucking put me on a pedestal because I tell you something, I've had so many people rolled with so many fucking decent, better artists, um, strong, strong fucking graffiti guys that um, when they put me in that, in that, in that category, it feels bizarre. Bruv, facts. It feels super facts, bizarre. Facts, 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 facts. Because for me, like... Well, can't speak, can't lie. This shit looks banging. Like, seriously, I appreciate dude. that. I appreciate that. But um, All the time, consistent, always consistent. And seismic. It's like colours, bang, bang, letters, yeah. boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank I mean, you. you can tell. You can Thank just you. tell the, the 10,000 that's in it. Thank you. But uh, I want to big up, like, I want to big up the forefathers. I want to big up Spat. I want to big up Reese. I want to big up Spo. I want to big up mm. Teach, Fume. Mm. Yo, 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 uh, Zonk. Mm. Yeah, I know you're listening. Um, big up yeah, yourself. Big up Zonk. I want to big up Chips. I want to big up Yonda. I want to big up Learn. Mm. I want to big up Koza. Mm. Um, KTC all day. Come on. We got to get into These KTC. are the guys that put me on. So from when you say that to me, I can't help but accept it, but tell you. These are the guys that mm. show you the ropes. Yeah, because without that, there's no foundation. Yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got it. And from a rap point of view, <laughs> rap point of view, uh, I want to big up Kane. He he didn't rap, but he fucking was a supporter from day dot. Mm. I want to big up MCD again. He believed in man. I want to big up. Uh, uh, you know, the first time I met Fallacy, I was a bit of a dickhead because I, I wanted to clash him. I think this was actually in Dark and Cold. Ah. But that was the energy I was on because I wanted to come up, bro. I needed yeah, I needed yeah. to come up. I needed, yeah, like, yeah. even if I had to yeah. shit on your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I know, it was the game. It was, it was but wrong. But that was a game. It was a game. Um, was a game back then. Apologies and big up to him and my sister, MC No Way. One hundred percent, DJ Bash, my first ever producer. Who um, who's not even a hip hop producer? The guy produces uh, uh, drum and bass for Adam F. Really? So whole type Bash, yeah, yeah, yeah whole yeah, type yeah. Bash. Um, yeah, man. I I don't really think I have really had someone to sit me down and help me with bars, but like I I had inspiration from like Fifty Cent, Nas, mm. um, KRS, um, Rakim. So many. Yeah, I know. So it's, many. I mean, it's an era-defining time but of music. No way helped me polish my shit. Mm. MCD showed me the format of how to make a song. Mm. Facts. Without those people to tell you the foundations, like what you're left with, is you, you're going on it on your own and you never really... I'm just probably just going to be still learning the bar format. I, yeah. I, would, I would be off bar. I'd yeah, be off yeah. key. Yeah. It wouldn't be right. There's so much more to it. I think when you go into into certain eras of rap or at least album defining moments yeah. I mean it's just like that biblical like yeah. you, like Nas Ilmatic I mean we don't really go on about it but you know there was others of its time you know if you think about Midnight Marauders Tropical Quest or yeah. Wu-Tang Wu-Tang you know? big up Wu-Tang yeah. for real Nah, it was very much locked in because mm. I loved Kung Fu. My godfather is an Iron Fist champion. Like, that's, these are people that like chop bricks with their hands. Damn! And I think he was like a 95 Iron Fist champion in the country. So, um, he, me and my dad going up in his, his yard and then like sitting there while these men are smoking weed in the kitchen, they put on the Kung Fu film for me to just sit there and watch. Love that shit. Oh, bruv. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Love that shit. The mind wanders, doesn't it? Yeah. Were you into yeah. WWF and stuff like that? Of course. Come on. That's my era. Mantra, me too. Like, that was the best. That's the best. I mean, no, you know. Ultimate People warrior, putting, my guy. Ultimate player. warrior. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With the war paint. <laughs> <No. laughs> you crazy <laughs> shaking the... <laughs> oh, no nuts. holding back. <laughs> guy was nuts. Guy was nuts. But also that perpetuated... What perpetuated? It moved forward into what become Americana. Like of our era, like TV, MTV, yeah. The Simpsons, yeah. WWF, yeah. MTV, you know, like yeah. Sky and all these things. We never had Sky in my household. No, me neither. Big up Peter Roberti, one of my old school friends. I would literally just run to the other road and then I would have these things on tap. Like. Bruv, did you used to get VHSs and that? I used to be the VHS man. I used to go around every Saturday with the MTV raps and pick it up with my friend. Big up Faye. Yeah. Um, I had Kane for that. Yeah, Kane yeah. was doing, um, what was it, Yo? Yeah. The MTV raps. Was it MTV raps? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lyrics' Lounge? Oh, shit, yeah. Was that, was that on? I don't think that was on MTV. Might be. Uh, comment below. Tell us. I don't think that. Help was me with that. Um, I think that was something else. Yeah. It was something else. <laughs> 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 I'm 
I don't know. Oh, I got to do a bit. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> yeah, do think a bit more, a bit more. You know. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Listening that that era. Mm. It's fucking beautiful, man. It was a different time. London was a different city. Yeah, yeah it London really was. was a different place. But it was like an influx of American stuff. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Monster then, trucks and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And then the Avrex. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, totally. Everyone, everyone having the AVs. And then we had... The, Carcan eyes. Uh, k- yep. Source magazine. FUBU, the, the, yeah. the fitted hats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Air Forces. I mean, now it's a casual Mom Malone. Bam. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I remember going into West London, into the, onto the high street. Onto um, Oxford, Oxford Street, and there used to be those shops that literally would on do on the side street. Yeah, you know the ones on the side street, which will have the iceberg yeah, history. Yeah, 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 yeah. With, we the, with the hell figure shell suits and shit like that. We run up in there, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Helly this Hansen. this was the time when we were like, we need to make money, bro, because yeah. everyone was flossing out. Yeah, and we were still looking bummy. So the pilots, Helly Hansons, all that, they yep. were just all getting bagged. Yep. I want to big up track because track really put me onto a lot of shit to make to put money in my pocket, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Big up track, honestly, like. That's that's another unsung hero in my book. Yeah, you know? he wants to run up in there. Yeah, bro, I'd love that. He's I'd waiting that. for his brother. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. All, right. All in good time. All in good time. See, the podcast keeps on evolving, keeps on moving forward. And uh, what we're talking about here is a gentleman that's not only versed in one form of rock, and he's into all all aspects. Yeah. Any uh, extra shout-outs you want to give before we duck out? Uh, neighborhood Spray Team. Mm. Yeah, big up that. Big up the Neighbourhood Spray Team Act. I want to big up uh, Even New Decoy. Jeez. <laughs> um, I want to big up um, Focus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they said to me, when you're on here, you forget everything. <laughs> um, chips. Mm. Uh, big plug for Wild Style Graffiti in Stockwell. Mm. Good paint shop. Yep. Um, Mizo. Uh, uh, Reflex. Cake. No, there's too many. There's too many. Nah, listen, the pressure's on. There's been so much more. There's CB, been... DT, fucking mm-hmm. SB, Scholar, what are you, what are you saying? Where you at? Yeah, uh, hold tight, Scholar. Plug, jabs, uh, bands. Mm. What's good? What's good, band? I was with you yesterday. You fucking held me down, bro. You make me laugh so yeah, much. Yeah, hold tight, band. Um, Big Daddy Cope. All, all day. Big up, Cope. Big up, Cope. Nah, nah, Cos, hack. Amigo, I mean, yo, what's good? Yo, exactly, big up, big up, Cos. Oh, what's good? Yeah. Um, Coke, can I just hold up on Coke for a second? Because uh, that guy was, has been an MCM writer for a fucking minute. Cope is still active. I'll tell you something which amazes me about Cope, and uh, I've, I've said this to him, so I'm not, I'm not fucking trying to uh, uh, put him up there, but he... It's funny because, like, big up Tense... Mm, from yeah. G- big up GFS, big up yes. Vega, my guy Vega. Yeah, Vega. Um, Tense is fucking Tense is a sick lyrical guy. He's an artist, right? He, he he's a lyricist to me, but he's not. He's not. He's out of shape. And I think it's fair. I don't think he'd be mad at me or saying this, but like, see Cope, which is weird about Cope, he stays in shape. Mm. He can come here and freestyle right now. Yeah. I can't even do that. The thing is, the thing is with Cope. I mean, I remember him back in like knife. Five, yep. 96 at the jams. Yeah, the guy has been consistent. He right still can go. Noses. Yeah. He can still can go. We cipher a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We cipher a lot. But the thing is, with me, I'm choppy. Mm. So I might come in with an eight bar and then be like, uh, 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 yeah. and then come in with a three bar and yeah. then come in with a four yeah. bar. Cope can flow. On it. Bad man. Bad he man. Hasn't, he hasn't yeah. lost On a step. Tap, big up yeah. Cope. Big up Ten. Big up Manor. Big up, up Bro. Yeah. Big up Soap, big up J1, big up fucking uh, 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 Joel. Yeah. Even you, Tusky, big up yourself. Yeah, hold tight. <laughs> hey, my brother. It's been what's an absolute good? pleasure. Honestly. <laughs> Kitty, what's good? <laughs> Aura, what's good? Mush, little sis. Oh, it's too many. Nah, it's love all in the room, man. And a real pleasure to have you on, my brother. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Bro. Yeah, I knew there wasn't going to be a problem with this one. We were out like in was out of fashion. Can you look at a podcast? Yeah, giving it to live and direct. Crime don't pay, but neither did they. All right. <laughs> don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't people. You stay lucky. Easy. Bless us. <laughs> Is that?